Here we go. Wub effect reverse. And... Oh, my God. Hi YouTube, it is Cool Trainer Tom here again, back at you again with part two of my Evolving Skies booster box opening. So two Evolving Skies booster box openings in the space of a couple of days for you. So I'm being very generous and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. So part one, just to do a really quick recap, I kind of got mixed results with part one. So the first half, so I did half the packs first and half the packs second. If you want to check that video out first to see how it went, feel free to go and check it out but in the uh in the spirit of saving time i'll show you some of the solid pulls that we got in the first video we had galarian articuno reverse hollow super happy about that galarian zapdos also incredibly happy with that the espion v altar the uh giraladon v max vaporeon v uh giraladon v some reverse rares again wishy-washy reverse rare uh, Reggie Drago, Hollow, um, Flodges Hollow, Dialgia Reverse, uh, two Leafeon Vs, and a Stoutland Reverse Rare. So, not too bad, but not amazing. Not any of the big hitters. As I say, I was really, really happy with the Vapor, uh, sorry, the Espeon Alternative Art, and the two Legendary Birds, the Galarian Zapdos Hollow, and the Articuno Reverse. So, not off to a bad start, but not off to a brilliant start. So as I said at the end of my last video, we're just getting the bad stuff out of the way. We're just getting the, 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 the boring stuff. We're getting the standard. We're getting the bulk out of the way. So check it out if you want. Um, as I mentioned in part one, I've actually got three Evolving Skies booster packs uh, giveaway on my Instagram page. So please go and check that out. Giving them away for free to celebrate the incredible uh, growth of my Instagram page and my channel to be fair um, over the last less than a month and I'm super happy and super grateful to everyone who has followed uh, liked and commented and shared all of my content really really happy with everything that's going so far so if you want to win Evolving Skies boosters for free and this is from not from this booster box but it is from a completely brand new booster box so don't know what might be inside these so the pulls haven't come uh, the good pulls haven't come yet from that booster box so you could be within a chance of pulling those amazing full arts and alt arts and rainbow rares you've got the uh, the the evolutions and you've got rayquaza and some of the cool uh, trainer cards as well so check that out please uh give this video a uh, a like and a share and please subscribe to this channel as well for more amazing openings as i said i've got another booster box on the way and i'm not sure what to do with it do i keep it sealed and kind of locked away and keep it in nice condition as part of my pokemon collection or do i open it up on the channel for you guys drop a comment below and let me know what you would like to see. Depending on the pulls that we get, I might not even listen to you guys. I might just do it myself. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking on part two. So yeah, I still some big hitters left to go. I'm not unhappy with the pulls that we've got so far. They are pretty decent, but uh, you know, we've not got there yet. We've not gone to the top. Um, we've not gone to the sky. Terrible, I'm so sorry. Uh, Boldor, Aroma Lady, Lotad, Teddy, so Cranagold, uh, Nickit, Dwebble, Victini Reverse. That's pretty awesome. I love that. And Sharpedo, non hollow rare. Let's pop you Victini to one side. I really like saving the um, the reverse rares, even if the standard card is not a hollow. Just really cool to have a rare in a reverse, I think card there we go one two three four so i'm hoping for some early pack magic no no last pack magic i can't be on edge for the entire video it's too long to be on edge for waiting for that big pull um this is the first here we go world effect reverse and oh my god this is amazing this is one of the ultimate rayquazas God, I'm so happy with this. Uh, but yeah, oh my God. Rayquaza V, this is the special full art Rayquaza. 
And I know that there is, um, I know that there is more artworks for Rayquaza uh, in this set. Um, but from what I understand, this is the slightly more sought after one, even though we've got a VMAX in this set. That is beautiful. Let's check it out. Oh, the edges are not amazing. There's a bit of wear there. Centering is definitely off, I think. Uh, let's have a look again. What have we got? It's not doing too brilliantly there, but an incredible card nonetheless, and in such good condition. The surface and the corners on that were stunning. I am so happy with this. Is this it though? I don't know what the pull rates are like for these boxes, so um, I would love to know exactly what the pull rates are like. So if you have a bit more knowledge about that, please let me know. I really don't want this to be it. We've got so many more packs still to open and I would hate, I would hate for it to be over so quickly. One, two, three, four, because I'm having a lot of fun actually opening this booster box. As I say, it's the first English booster box I have ever opened. It's the first booster box I've opened on camera and actually it's the first booster box I've opened in about five years. Tramper, non-hollow. Let's keep going. Got a lot to get through. So I'm really hoping, so it's, it ah, I mean, yeah, I'm hoping this isn't it. I'm hoping we've got a lot more cool stuff to go. So when I last opened a booster box, as I said in my last video, it was a CP6, which is Japanese Evolutions, basically. Um, and I pulled some amazing stuff in there. I had the uh, Mega Blastoise EX. I had the Full Art Gold Dragonite. Ooh, slacking reverse. Nice reverse rare. Do like that. Oh my God. A gold card. I love gold. That's two amazing pulls in a row. That's incredible. Oh, gold trainer card. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this set of pulls so far. So it was the second half. It was the right hand side. So start with right first. If you guys get a booster box, go with the right. And if you guys are buying loose packs and you get an opportunity to choose where in the set, where in the box you get to pick from, choose the right. Again, the edges are not amazing, but the corners are pretty decent. The centering is slightly off. Actually, it is pretty off. Um, but not too bad, not too bad. Again, it's still an amazing card. So even kind of not perfect, uh, kind of cutting is still amazing. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this. This is going well so far. That's all we need. We just need alt arts. Uh, v maxes and gold cards for every single booster now that's left in this box and I'll be happy I'll be able to I'll be able to end this video a happy chappy let's keep going moon and sun badge toy catcher gold duck I didn't look at the color of the code card actually so I've got no idea if we've got good or garbage flow out reverse poor guys not on hollow <sighs> Calming down a bit now. Maybe it's just giving me a chance for me to catch my breath, for my heart rate to slow down, to build me up for another amazing pull. See, again, look at these corners. These corners are cut slightly dodgy, aren't they? And up here as well. See, I thought it was just the way that a booster pack that I had was um, packaged and the loose wrapping as well, which was quality control. But actually, maybe, maybe some of the cutting and things like that is not brilliant. Reverse Palpitoad, Ampharos Rare, mm, non hollow but again, I love that artwork. And I love Ampharos as well. I love that whole evolution chain. It's a lot more nostalgia than it is anything else. I just remember getting the Murray in Pokemon Silver right after the first gym and training that up to be Ampharos all the way through the game. Digging gloves, Crustle. So that was a white code card. Come on guys, this could be it. This could be good. Teddy Ursa versus Herdia. That's awesome. And Gyarados V. Nice. That's cool. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's not rainbow. It's nothing special, but it is a V and it is a good pull nonetheless. I'll pop that to one side. Now I'll pop you over here. One pile. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I think we're about halfway through this, this, uh, this set of cards. So we've got a lot more to do, a lot more great cards to pull still. The Rayquaza, that Alt Art Rayquaza V is, that was on pretty much the top of my list of cards that I wanted to pull. 
I much prefer Rayquaza to the Evolutions, even though the alt arts are incredible and they look, they're just absolutely stunning. They're amazing pieces of art. Moon and Sun Badge, Smeargle, non hollow. Uh, so, yeah, even though that's the thing and those are the cards that people are really going for, Rayquaza was what I was after the most. Card. One, two, three, four. I'm making such a mess on this little table that I've got. I've not got tons and tons of space, but I did try and make room, especially for this booster box opening. Let's keep going. Slack off, glossy floor, love disc. Gigalith. Uh, Gigalith. Nice. Again, a reverse rare. I'm always really happy with those. And Trevenant V Max. That is an amazing card. That VMAX is looking sweet. Really, really nice. Really, really nice condition on this one as well. Better, better cutting condition than the Rayquaza. I know it's nothing special. Wow, oh my god, look at the centering on that. That is atrocious. And scratching there as well. That wasn't me, I promise. Wow. I didn't even spot that until I looked at the back. That's absolutely nuts. That's, a, that's atrocious. <laughs> that's so bad. But it's a VMAX, so I'm not going to turn it down. I'm not going to turn it down. Still, man, I really hope this isn't like... I really hope this is just kind of my luck, maybe, and isn't a signal of the quality control we've got going on at Pokemon at the moment. But I do know, I mentioned it in my last video, part one, I do know that they are really trying hard to ramp up production. I think they open a new printing factory or something as well. I'm not too sure, but I know they're definitely ramping up production to meet demand. Feeble, Reverse, Rare, super happy with that. Galarian Moltres, oh wow. This completes the set. We've got the Zapdos, we've got the Articuno, and we've got the Moltres. That's incredible artwork. That, that Moltres is amazing. I know there's other artwork of this, which again, people are you know looking for a bit more than the standard Hollow, of course. But still, you cannot deny that that is a beautiful card with amazing artwork. Centering is much better on this one. A few little white dinglings at the top. But otherwise, a hell of a lot better. I'm going to have to really show that on the recap. Because that is ridiculous. That is the most off-cut, off-centre card I have ever, ever pulled in my entire life. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Energy, Vigoroth, Lombre, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, awesome, Cute Fly, Applin, Sabli, Nicket, we've seen that guy quite a lot. Tentacruel Reverse, again I know it's an uncommon but that artwork is creepy, that is spooky. This is why I don't like the Deep Sea and Sharpedo, non hollow rare. Oh, building me up. I see, I, I knew it. I knew from before that the uh, the booster box was building me up, ready for an amazing pull. And we got that Galarian Moltres. I can, I'm so happy with that. I, do you know what? I feel like we're getting a good spread of pulls in this video. And this is making up for the part one, which was, which was good. It was good. And I was excited to open it. And I okay, guys, you will not believe this, but the camera cut out. I ran out of storage. I didn't even think to check this beforehand, but it's okay. You only missed half of the pack and the half that you missed was I have literally just got to the Galarian Moltres reverse. So that is two packs in a row. We have pulled Galarian Moltres. We've got the normal hollow and we've got the reverse hollow. And last card, Garbador V. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Vis a vis. It's better than a non hollow rare. But, oh my god, how incredible is that? And what are the chances as well that those two packs would be next to each other in the in the booster box? I've not shuffled these these packs up at all. I've just gone straight, you know, let's just go straight through it. So, I'm gonna have to put some kind of, <laughs> some, 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 uh, some kind of transition in between there. I can't believe that, but I'm actually really pleased that that didn't miss out too much because that was an amazing moment. I was so surprised at that. So you didn't really miss a lot because I didn't really say anything. So I was a bit like, what? Keep it down, ten, there's that tentacle again, rubber gloves, slack off. 
I cannot believe the pulls that we are getting in this second half of the box. Punkaboo, Rufflet, Zygarde Reverse Rare. That's pretty awesome. And Victini Hollow. Nice, that's cool. So we got the reverse and we've got the normal hollow with Victini as well. So we're getting some good balancing out of the reverses and the hollows. Um, it's always cool to get a reverse rare, but it is even better to get the reverse of a hollow. So we are down to the last four packs. Could we get anything more, anything better? We've already got an alt art. We've got the alt art right, Rayquaza, and we've already got a gold trainer card as well. Uh, we've got a couple of full arts so far, some hollows, and some amazing reverses. Figure off Lombre. Eevee, could it be? Could it be a sign? Pikachu, come on. Apple and Lilliput. Shopping Center reverse. And Stoutland uh, non hollow rare. Come on. Lucky threes. We've got three, um, three booster pack arts left. We have got the Trevor, uh, no we haven't. <laughs> We've got the Umbreon, we have got the uh, Rayquaza, and the Pokemon whose name, I cannot remember. Isn't that bad? Isn't that bad? But I'm doing this opening video, and I cannot even remember the name. Raladon, of course. I've not really played Three Sword and Shield too much. So we'll go with this guy, let's give him Let's give him a bit of a, uh, a, a bit of a um, payback. I forgot your name in the moment. Let's give you a bit of a payback and we'll open you first. So please, please pack, do not punish me for forgetting your name. Please give me something good. Even if it's a good reverse, reverse Psyduck, two in a row. Appleton V, okay, do you know what? I deserve that. I deserve that. I did you. I, I did you bad. I didn't do you good. Last two. Rayquaza. Come on, we've already had a Rayquaza so far. But could we get another? Could we get a Vmax? We've got the code card down. Two, three, four. The front leaf energy. Toy catcher. Rayhan. Avalug. C dot. Slackoff. Flabby. Cavana. Swevel, reverse rare, Talonflame. Could it be Regilecki? Hollow. Okay. Okay. Hollow's a hollow. We can take that. We can take that. Let's pop you in there. Reverse. And the Regilecki hollow as well. I'm I'm still excited. I know that the normal hollows are not the big hitters that everyone is like really excited by anymore. But for me, a hollow is a hollow and it's always great something, something that's not a non-hollow rare. I do love Ampharos, but if I see another Ampharos rare, last pack, come on, last pack magic, two, three, four. Please, something, even a good reverse, even a good reverse would be a great way to end this video. Let's keep going. Zinni's Resolve, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, we've got Feebas, we've got the Hitmonchan, Pumpkaboo Reverse, and Thievil non hollow rare. But do you know what? That's fine. You know, if you want to end my video this way, that is absolutely fine. I'm okay with it because we have pulled some absolutely awesome cards in this video. Um, I am going to go through them all, even the non non big hitters, because I've been so excited and I've had a lot of fun. Uh, opening this video, uh, opening this booster box for you over the last kind of couple of videos. Let's go through them in no particular order. I've just scooped these up <laughs> off the table. This table is a mess, you should see it. I'm gonna add a photo uh, now <laughs> on the screen. You should see that right now. That's how much of a mess it is. And that's just after part two. Part one I've actually tied it up from. So we've got the Talon Flame Reverse Rare, got the Slacking Reverse Rare, Let's pop you to the back there. We've got a Regilecki Hollow. We've got the Gyarados V. We've got the Trevenant V Max. Pop you to the back, we'll recap with you. We've got the Thievil Reverse Rare. We've got Victini Hollow, Zygarde Reverse, Garbodor V. We're gonna put you two back to the back. We'll come back to you later. We've got Stoutland uh, Reverse. Again, we're coming back to you. 
Dialgia Reverse Hollow, which actually came from the first few packs, but I popped that in there anyway. Florges Hollow, Reggie Drago Hollow, again, that was from the booster packs that I opened earlier. Uh, Wishy Washy, Duraladon V, Vaporeon V, Duraladon V Max, come back to you, and True Vaporeon Vs. Come on, booster box. You couldn't give me a different, Vapor uh, different V card? That's fine. The big ones the big ones. I'm going to share these on my Instagram. So if you have, follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen these. We have got the Espeon Altart V. We have got Galarian Zapdos Hollow. We've got Galarian Articuno Reverse Hollow. And we've got the double hit. We've got Galarian Moltres Hollow and the Reverse Hollow of that. We pulled that two packs in a row. What are the chances? And then we have got Full Face Guard Gold Trainer Card looking incredible I'm happy with any gold card you want to give me I don't care what it is and the one the only Rayquaza V Altar this is the card this was the card for me I know people are going nuts for the Umbreon and the Espeon and even the Leafeon but this is it for me and the Rayquaza V Max again is incredible but come on you've got to love this I think this is my favourite this is my favourite of all of the cards that we've pulled is it the most valuable? Actually, probably, yeah, it is. But even if it wasn't, this is amazing. I am so happy with that. I am so happy with all of the big pulls that we've got today. All of the Vs, all of the hollows, even the reverse hollow rares. Uh, reverse hollow rare, rares, which are normally non-hollows. I'm really happy with those. We've got the Victini hollow, and I forgot to show this one. The Victini uh, rare reverse hollow. There we go. That's two parts. Um, even with a little break in the middle when my phone decided to stop recording because I didn't check the stories beforehand because uh, I'm not prepared. As you can tell, a little bit of rambling going on in the script. But booster box number two is on its way soon. I haven't decided what to do with that, whether to resell it or whether to keep it as a collector or to open it up again and try and get some of those evolutions. So let me know what you think, guys. What have you had better pull rates with? Have you had better pull rates with booster packs from boxes, booster boxes of your own, the blister packs, the elite trainer boxes? I would love to know where you've got your best pulls from and what they are. So please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about what you've got. Also check out my Instagram page. I'm doing a giveaway of three Evolving Skies booster packs. So they didn't come from this booster box, just to clarify, they came from another booster box, which was just freshly opened. I went to the store to buy it, buy those packs. They asked me what I what box I would want them from. I saw the open, freshly opened one with no packs taken out. I had to go for that. I cannot run any risk of anyone having got there first. But I'm gonna pass that good luck on to you guys. So check out Instagram. Make sure you uh, follow the post and check it out and make sure you know you're uh, doing the rules uh, correct and doing the entry correct because you could be within a chance of winning these and pulling some amazing stuff like the Rayquaza V, maybe your Evolutions. There we go. No rambling, nothing more. Again, please uh, like this video if you've enjoyed the opening, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for some more stuff. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video.